cast on me. Oh, okay. Because I have six dice. That's not bad. But right. It's a it's potency eleven. It's potency 11. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yep. Actually, when I I'm gonna try and do ridiculous words and signs on this book again. Okay. Uh, I I will need Dominus's help for that. Um. Uh, how how is he contributing? Because well, uh, when you do like a, a ritual casting. Oh yeah, you want him to assist. Yep. In the casting. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I just cast yeah. Steadfast that myself. Can. Uh, yes, you can do that. I'll do that beforehand. All right. So I got three success. I could. I mean, uh, doing a ritual cast like, is it just fair to just like tack on high speech in addition to the path stool and stuff or? Uh, yeah, the, your only limit is you can, uh, you're limited to four different yantras maximum. Okay. So right. you can Rune. use path tool, dedicate tool, high speech, ritual, and then one more if you, if you have it. Yeah. Runes are, runes are so tempting, but like, no. It's, it's a like, pretty big vulnerability. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if you etch the runes into the metal, they can still then, be messed and up. Then, like, and then even if um, Rapture reinforces it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Shoot. All right. Oh, I just. Well, path tool and, and high speech are what I got. So. Okay. Sweet. So I'm starting at negative one dice. Oh boy, alright. Um, so, we'll have this roll. Okay, I so. Need, I, don't, I didn't even need steadfast. Um, you succeeded at your uh, luck, Boone? I, I sent a picture. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I found yeah. my phone. Right, right. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exceptional. <laughs> so, nice. So All right. I was casting that at 11 potency. I don't know if... Uh, I mean, you could bump it up to 12 potency. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay. So, and then Dominus gave you three uh, d extra dice, Amadine. Okay, cool. Um, let's get up to two dice. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Oh, man. I did spend Still, power on that. Yeah, I feel like we need like choose a thread or something. It takes three hours to try this. You will have it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Either from from Gray or from Nave. All right. Come on, yeah. Come on with it. Yeah. Oh, one success. One <laughs> success. <laughs> total. 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 Try. Ooh, nice. Got it. So what's the uh? What's the effect? Words and right signs. <clears throat> so, um, this is a words and signs um, with indefinite duration because I spent the reach in mana for that, I guess. But we'll get All right, mana. nice, yeah. Um, at advanced potency 11. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, write that down. Make sure you uh, keep that someplace on your sheet mm -hmm. um so if you you can, can choose to continue just concentrating on it uh at the moment and then if any time in the future you want to make it permanent without concentrating on it uh you can spend a, a dot of willpower to relinquish it oh i see that's how that works okay yep so indefinite but it's not yet lasting yeah okay um all right, we'll choose to concentrate on that for now in case the pentacle wants to open the box. Yeah. But we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, because once you once you spend the dot of willpower, you would have to dispel it as well to get rid of it. Like Right. And you... I honestly would need another Prime Mage's help for that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Be rough. Yeah. I can see why the more mages you get, the more mages you need to take something down. Mm -hmm. uh, That's yeah. why mages form groups. <laughs> see. I see. It's all starting to make sense. 
Uh, right then. Uh, right. So spell. Uh, I guess active spells. Um, words and signs. Uh, for for book. Uh, what location would you be doing this at? Uh, Doesn't really matter where, because you're you're going back to the present. Where, where wherever rap, wherever our home base is for the, is it like Raptor's house? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so we're doing it there. All right, or uh, I guess you could do it in the uh, the forestry museum. That's also a location. Oh, sure, like a location sympathy. Yeah. Wait, no, but does this book actually have any location to the Forestry Museum yet? No. Oh, okay. No, I meant more just like because it's a powerful hallow and it's, oh, it's convenient. Oh, oh, yeah, because that would be what? Um, a Supernal Verge? No. Not, no, it, just a, a hallow. Uh, okay. Is that? It doesn't give any benefits, uh, but you have access to mana. Oh, I see. So, however much mana you spent on your your prep spells, you could get reimbursed for. There, oh, right. Yes. Which sure. would be useful. <clears throat> yeah. Also, it does have some sort of, like, symbolic uh, impact on, like... On us, I suppose. Yeah. Which... I mean, it doesn't give any mechanical benefit, but it is relevant. <laughs> right. Oh, for the place we're leaving. Yeah. I see. Um, um, I mean, does it make sense to go back forwards in time at the Forest Museum Fountain Chamber? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you know? It's up to you guys, yeah. But yeah, yeah, because you know we probably we might not even own house. Like, I'm just throwing us out here. Like, oh yeah, if no, we no. never got magified, um, we, our our um sanctum, yep, yeah. yeah. uh, might still be owned by that other dude. Yeah. Who won the lottery. <laughs> And we don't have like a luck dragon to go back to. Um, it's not a luck dragon. It's a, it's a whatever dragon. It's a luck uh, dragon. Yeah. <laughs> we were lucky to get him. <laughs> um, the Forestry Museum is interesting in that I guess it's where we became mages. So that's kind of poetic, I guess, if we come back there. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if we don't exist on that timeline anymore. We got born there again. <laughs> um uh so yeah i guess i uh, i don't have a good reason to not uh let the time spell expire in the forestry museum fountain yeah all right uh so i mean it's gonna be here in 70 years right yeah <laughs> we're not gonna be like we're not gonna be like in solid rock uh, this location is probably pretty safe to assume it's still going to be there because it is a hollow and even if people mess with hallows, like they they naturally sort of wait. gravitate to return to their resting place, you know. Wait. What are we waiting for? What I thought of a reason why the Forest Museum might be bad. Why? Uh, because if if we end up in a timeline where Until all the previous things did happen, we're on the <laughs> wrong side of the um, the deal with the Iron Sears of the Iron Throne. You would be, yeah. If that still happened in that timeline. Yeah, but that's a, that's a minor. Like, yeah, we're on the wrong side of the deal, but, oops, whatever. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> it's an interesting thought, though. Mm -hmm. At that point, I'm like, I don't give two fucks about their politics at this point. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's the biggest problem we have. That, that deal was made because of the 
situation but of the resurgence of the ley lines and then although yeah. however actually if the ley lines never went away in the first place maybe the skiers moved in two decades from now instead of 70 years from now yeah maybe. Uh, only one way to find out for sure yeah we might be in a whole different territory and borders and whatnot god damn all right well it's a big yeah. leap. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh. So, so, uh, Ooh. Amadine and Dominus spend three hours reinforcing the magical protections on the the uh, the sepulcher <laughs> uh, container, the <laughs> case. Oh, okay. Things that we didn't think of. Yep. Okay. I spent three hours. That was your cast. No, it was like your 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 words and signs spell. Oh yeah, words and signs, and then uh, maybe something for matter to make it durable, and then yep. Rapture did that. Those are like the only two things, right? <laughs> That's or, uh, well, constant presence for time, so it can't be like anti-summoned to get the book out. Uh, yeah, I mean it, it's like with you and and like Gray's time protections would would sort of encompass it because yeah, yeah. of that. So, no, I was thinking of like um. Well, we can do this later. But like when we're trying to make this a permanent storage box. Oh yeah, like once you you get to future and you you work on reinforcing it to make it like a permanent tomb for this thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What right, anyway. is constant presence? Because my constant presence is weak right now. It's only at potency three, but then it's got parentheses of five. That means like if it's tested, it's pot, it's five. Two dots. Yeah, I could get that up to 12. <laughs> That's um, relevant if you think something's going to dispel it. Dispel it. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think anything will dispel it. It'll just clash of wills it, is what I yep. think. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's why I didn't care about the potency so much. Okay. Right. Yep. I have the different sort of problems with wards and signs, because wards and signs is like direct subtraction from damage. Gotcha. But, yeah. Magic armor. Okay. There's, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm cool with constant presence. It doesn't need to be jacked up. It doesn't need to have steroids. <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, and then Gray, you spend a little bit of time painting fate runes across your uh, yep. your hands in preparation to give you some some extra luck juice to yep. call upon when needed. Yep. So that gives me. <clears throat> what was the potency cast of that? Twelve. Okay, so you get 12 bonus dice to your Clash of Wills. <laughs> uh, we're making it through. <laughs> All right. Uh, man. No. Like, I feel like just holding this briefcase isn't good enough. <laughs> I want to, like... Handcuff it to yourself? <laughs> I don't know. Can you can you get a a, a, a bio mage to like graft it into you? Uh, it seems a little extreme and probably not healthy. Does it though? <laughs> is it is anything too extreme for this situation? No. Also, do I want this book grafted into me? <laughs> not yeah, the that's book. not it. the book. I meant the briefcase. Well, the briefcase is in the book, or right. no, other way around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the book is in the briefcase. But the book is a different kind of thing. Than, you know. Uh, all right. Let's see. Anyway. It's kind of like putting a like super cancer inside of like a protective canister in your body. Yeah. Exactly. Like sure, like you're fine right now, but that that canister better not break. Start obsessing over but like what if the ultimate source of energy is having no concerns about energy in the first place and just unmake the world yeah anyway sorry anyway. yeah <laughs> the only solution is to <clears throat> delete reality yeah the only way to win is not to play uh, yeah. anyways um okay so yeah you have the briefcase reinforced as much as uh is is feasible right now yep um especially since you're not entirely sure if any spells your allies cast on you will like come with you because like the duration of those spells might get like wonky 
Oh, right. Or it might get 70 years counted against it. Or... Yeah. Right, so yeah. This is, exactly. Uh, this, is a, this is a bit more of a vague one because that's what fate does. But strings of fate, uh, if I cast that, would it help at all by making... The mage specifies an event that she wishes to happen to the subject. So if I just put that on and say, I wish for us to return, you know, safely, will that just be an extra layer of help? Um, this is, like, probably too directly contested for that okay. level of spell to, like... Right help you right right and i totally thought like i'm, I'm looking at, i'm like ah i don't think so maybe i'll i'll mention it you know yeah that's more of like an overarching yeah. like mm. plot yeah that you're you're setting into play yeah i just figured since i knew it was coming like you know the next the next event okay well there's a next there's a big event coming <laughs> so mm -hmm. yep no problem all right yeah that's more like long term Yep. Effects and yep. acute effects. All I'm doing is looking through the spells. <laughs> um, all right. Anything else you guys want to do in preparation? I'm getting like anxiety over not being able to see the book, um, <laughs> and not being able to open the briefcase. Um, because it's like, how will I know the book made the journey with us? <gasps> anyway, it's true. <laughs> uh, we could cast shared fate. On the book. On the book. On the book and you or something. Or me. Interesting. What does that spell do? Less um two subjects. When whatever befalls one subject affects the other. And I can make it reach so it's only the goods kind of thing. Like I don't know how that would affect anything. So if like if you got disintegrated, it wouldn't. But you know. Oh, right. <laughs> but maybe it should. But maybe it should, right. <laughs> <laughs> in which case uh, I'll just leave it <laughs> just leave it intact alright uh man we can't put like a window in this thing no we don't want people to see the book ah. oh. if I like reach out with mage sight is it can I sense ultimate evil emanating uh, yes okay alright you can one. you can feel like it, it's like a pressure uh of like dark energy sort of just like straining behind the wards that you've wrapped around it i see all right oh also okay. I, ha I i can i can do that thing where i know okay. like an alarm where i know when something's happened oh it's fulfilled yeah that's it so uh book, stay in there and then if it doesn't it has to be a like conscious subject okay uh, like Yep, terms he, of an he knows when the subject fulfills or violates a term of an agreement or yep. a specific fate befalls the subject. Okay. So yeah, I think it has to be like a person for that spell. Okay. Yep, I think you're right because I'm reading it as well. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna get now. I have to. I'm in my fate spells. I think I'm done there. I have to go down to time now and see. Because I do want to try something with a hung spell. Where, when shit starts to fail, where I have another, I have a, I have an out. But I don't know what it would be. Like it would, it would almost need to be either a redo or a super buff. Like <laughs> a, and I don't know how I could. how I could do a redo like that that that's not one I think I can do yeah because like this is happening while you're like mm -hmm. in between like in the process of traveling through time in that state you're not really like in a specific time you're like traveling through time so like going back in time while traveling through time is not really a thing, if that makes sense. Yeah, oh no, I, I, <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, there's not much, even in even in t Time Mage 5, I, I can't do shit. Because <laughs> I'm dealing with 
higher time entities than myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't temporal summon either. We got nothing. We're as good as we're going to get. Yep. All right. So you... Shit. That's a bad thing to say. Include your preparation. <clears throat> your, uh... I'm holding a briefcase. I'm look at your hands. The runes of fate shimmering with potential upon them. Um, stored luck. All the luck that you can muster. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> concentrated into uh magical bindings across your uh your palms um your uh your and, uh, and i'm just soul in the twins <laughs> sort of uh stand across from you uh in in the hollow chamber um mave kind of gives you a little salute and says uh see you in the future Maybe. And hope that it's a uh, an easy trip. Easier than expected. <clears throat> um, and Domina says, uh, for what it's worth, I think we owe you a lot for what you're doing here. Don't, neither of us are sure of what transpires or what would transpire. Were we to act differently here, but I imagine that it would be worse for us. Yep. We won't forget that. Yeah, and uh... and we won't forget you. Yeah. So the yeah, we'll just leave it like that. There's a bunch of things popping in Sam's mind. It's like, oh, I need it, but we're just <laughs> time has passed. All right. Yeah. With that, maybe it'd be nice if they spent the next few decades hunting Celestia the world over, but you know, that's <laughs> but they can make that choice, yeah, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so Gray, you release the spell which has mm. been keeping you here for the month approximately that you were here, probably cut it short a little while so you could choose your exact time of departure yep. and, um uh, i say i hope to see you sometime in the future yep he nods and smiles and then you find your consciousness pulled out from that place uh, i am a dying at your side and you turn to try and find your way back to the present uh Focusing all of your power on weaving yourself into a future that now does not include you. Uh, this is something that you like know you're capable of doing just because like mm -hmm. the nature of time magic allows you to uh, protect yourself. Um, but you feel like uh, as you sort of like pull out into that that sort of brief flickering um, space where you're just sort of like observing all of the threads of time yeah. in like the vast infinite void. Looking for Atlantis. Yep. Um, you feel something you can only describe as the universe itself resisting <laughs> your path. And oh, you need to make a clash of wills. Oh, damn it. Back off. A clash of wills with the hand of fate himself. Yep. Uh, that's... So this is, I roll every single D10 that I own. Okay. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't know. Can I do, if we want, we want to do that? I own a lot. No. Can we, can we, can we roll, roll You roll as many as, as, uh, 
you have for your spell. Okay, because that would be amazing if you and me did that. All right. <laughs> That'd be... Let's just roll. Uh, honestly, I would have. I have. I know I have a crap ton of d10s, but I only have uh, the amount that I'm going to roll um, plus one on my desk right now. Yep. I'd have to go to my my cabinet. Yep. But I am rolling all the d10s I have in my like normal dice box minus one. Okay. So, so. Yikes. Yeah, so I get a plus twelve. That's, is yep. it, is and it, then Nasus just... plus time plus twelve. Nasus and plus then you can spend willpower. Okay. Which one one power? probably should. Oh, can I spend that. multiple willpower? <laughs> I can't remember how willpower works. Can you spend multiple? Plus three dice, no, only, only one. one. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, because you can do multiple mana. Yep. All right. Okay. So. But like with the willpower, is like we don't know if there's a series of rules. Hold on, I actually am, because I want to do this all in one, so one second. Yep. How many dice are you rolling? 12? 25? Alright. You want to go get more. Oh man, Sam's just like in the sidecar here. He's like, <laughs> oh, let's get some. Just, it's a little bit like Jesus take a wheel, but it's great. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how we feel about that, but uh, anyway. I thought I had gold D10s as well. I must have misplaced those. Because I've got these nice black and silver ones. Mm -hmm. I had gold ones too. Man. Sam was thinking about this earlier, but he was trying to be a man about it and not complain to his new friends, but I don't know. We wonder what's going to become of Lily in the future, or oh, the future yeah. we return to. Indeed. I know. That is probably something that sits heavy. Uh, you still have the flower she gave <laughs> you, right? Uh, yeah. The amethyst blossom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So... Do I get, because of my Persona Yantra, any plus three to dice on time nope. stuff? Okay, just wondering. Not for this, at least. Yeah, That's just for spells. Just for spells. Okay, okay. All right, so time plus Gnosis plus my, plus my potency, plus my 12. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, that's 10. That's 20 dice. Okay, yeah, I needed to get the other stack. <laughs> it's 22. Yep. Perfect. 22 dice? Yep. Uh, was it chrysanth chrysanthemum blossom or whatever? Uh, yeah. I'm just putting it on my character sheet. Yep. Uh, yes. This is the blossom that grew from the the seeds you got from the right. goblin fruit. But I'm rolling against fate itself. Oh no, this rolls against time. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Oh yeah, I see a lot of tens. Oh, I forgot willpower. Hold on. Let's throw three more in there. Hey, an eight. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's a good willpower. Yeah, another. Got another eight out of there. Out of that willpower. Okay. Okay, hold on. So. Willpower. Nice. This is a cool song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called Song of the Abyss. Nice. Very fitting. Very. All right, I'm just, I'm, I'm just coming as well. Uh, one, one, two, three. There's a lot, there's a lot of dice to pick through. <laughs> yep. That's the... That was the dice roll? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I have to pick, all, I have to pick mm -hmm. all these out. One, two, 
Because I don't get the eight again on this. That's only on spells, also. Right. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got ten on eight, ten showing. Eight, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, only nine. Yep, only nine showing, so I gotta, yeah, roll, these, right. I gotta roll these tens again. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's pretty pretty bad for uh, for twenty two dice, twenty five dice actually. Okay, uh, another nine and a ten. Expectation value would be thirty percent. Nice, roll that ten again. And a two. Okay, so so eleven. Eleven. Eleven successes. That's pretty good. And that was literally every d ten for twenty five dice. Yep. It was every D10 I have uh, available <laughs> after grabbing like one more 10 set. <laughs> nice. All right. So the roll is made. Oh, the die is cast. The die has been cast. You got you. A you hair see average. Nice. Okay. You see the paint flaking off of your arms and sort of disintegrating uh, as you draw the power from it. Um, what destination in your time are you envisioning? Uh, like location? Yeah. Did we talk about the Hallow? Uh, Enforcer Museum, right? Yep. Yeah. We're just yeah. just going through time right now, not space. Just time. Okay. Let's count. Yep. So you you see the Forestry Museum as you remember it. Uh, there's nobody in there okay. right now. As you see, you, you see the hollow. You imagine yourself standing there. You can almost feel yourself touching the stone like you never left. All right. Like we were the, standing there for 70 years. Yep. yep. All right. We're almost there. I can the magic you wield is undoing the deaths and fates worse than death of many and changing other things in ways you're not entirely sure of at this moment. Go, baby, go! You feel the threads align, find the correct place to tie yourself into this time. And just as you feel that locking in a ethereal sheer sort of manifest like a uh, scissors cutting through the nothing and severing your ties to time and fate shattering your work and leaving you at the mercy of the cosmos <laughs> you what? feel the the gr the bridge that you built very successfully um just unravel before you and you fall out of space and time as you do you hear a woman's voice sort of whisper in your ear and amadine you hear this as well mm -hmm. um she says uh such brave and noble heroes you are stealing away the fates of so many unfortunate people it's a shame that the greatest heroes always suffer the worst fate. That, and as time and space spirals away from you, uh -oh. you hear her one final whisper. The first piece of your debt is repaid. Okay. The first. Right. So, yep. Gray, gray, gray's cashed in his. I guess. Um, I count that for both of you. Oh, okay. Of course, uh, it's a threefold debt. Three times she is allowed to. Oh shoot! I don't remember. Bestow that. grave misfortune upon you. Oh no. <laughs> so that was one I out of three. I don't remember that. <laughs> I mean, yep. I'm sure I agreed, but I don't remember. So, so uh, you have other things to worry about now. 
So. Okay, so I uh, I'm not I don't I'm I'm I, I'm not sure if I understand what happened. I yeah. so are, are we still time traveling right now or right? You have I built a bridge, but she so, severed it. She won. So this is this is what happened. Um, oh, man. Canic's perspective. Uh, you succeeded. To, at at combating the universe, um, the misfortune that she gives you is, at any point in time, she can cause one roll that you make to automatically fail, no matter what. Okay. Zero <laughs> successes. Yep. And that is what happened. Okay. So she forced you to lose. So, that's what I mean, like that but that was our go back to the present intact right. role yes so we didn't mm -hmm. so we died did you i don't know i thought that's what was going to happen <laughs> death wow. is is so much simpler a fate but it's like, the, the death part wasn't up to her. I just thought that's what was going to happen. Like, if we didn't make this time thing, we're fucked. You, uh, <laughs> you didn't die. You were removed from time. Right. So, are we, like, huh. still in the wormhole right now or something? Or what What do, uh, do our <laughs> eyes what? appearing? Yeah. Uh, there is no There is no there. space. There is, n there is not even like us. a void. There is an us. Okay. <clears throat> that is pretty much it. You are aware that you exist, or you are aware that you believe that you you, you are aware <laughs> of your own conscience. I think that's um, where I am. Yes. Probably. And, and you were aware of, like, something stirring amidst just, like, a lack of everything. Just, like, a sea of nothing that mm -hmm. begins to sort of, like, overwhelm you. Um, um, so right I want up. you guys both, assuming that you don't want to be just assimilated into this sea of nothing... Yep. That's Give me yep. a Gnosis roll. <laughs> Just Gnosis, huh? Just Gnosis. Oh, boy. Yeah. The only thing that can save you at this point is is sheer uh, super enlightenment. Two nines. Two successes. Yeah, two okay. successes. Well done. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'll take some, some minor praise. Mm -hmm. So, you you feel like drowning in nothing, um, but you are you're not done. Is there a map doing this? what you want to do? <laughs> right, like you don't you're not just going to give up and surrender to to the void. Stupid void! I beat be bigger monsters than you. And you are still aware of of one thing deep from like the heart of your soul, which is the watchtower, uh, your connection to the supernal realms and, and your magic. Mm -hmm. It's oh so faint wherever you are, but it is still there. And you hold on to that connection and mm -hmm. sort of try and pull yourself up out of this morass of the lack of things. Mm -hmm. and you are able to sense and see um, there's a morass of uh, just like swirling color that comes to your your mind's eye um, kind of like just an entire all of the colors in the world just blurred together into this sort of great mosaic of abstract nature mm -hmm. um, 
from that point, uh, you find that your feet are now standing on uh, rough stone card floor, but not really stone. It's like stone that's been painted by uh, like pastel oil paints. And you see a fountain before you, mm -hmm. a vision of your destination that is carved from black metal. Um, the water, uh, this like rippling sort of ferro fluid instead of actual water. Mm -hmm. And you find that your bodies are once again tangible to your perceptions at least. Mm -hmm. And this area of of sort of like abstract landscape is established around you um, out to about 50 feet or so. You're still standing next to each other. Mm -hmm. And the uh, ground around you is seems real. Mm -hmm. But that, that infinite sea of like abstract colors is surrounding the rest of you. It's like you've you've created a little patch of reality from your own soul um, in this place where such concepts cease to exist. Ah, I was okay. just going to say, like, we have to start manifesting our own existence. Yep. That is basically what you have done to keep yourself from keep from losing yourself to the void. Right. It's like it's like visiting the realm of the in Bartimaeus. The realm of uh, what? Yes. Oh yeah. It's just sort mm -hmm. of like an abstract realm where nothing really exists. You're not allowed to be separate entities from me. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, um, and here you stand. Uh huh. Ooh. The uh, uh, tome in, in the briefcase in tow. Tome in the briefcase. Okay. All right. We have currently you are proposal, nothing except for ultimate evil. Now, uh, <laughs> should we throw this fucking thing into the nothing? I considered. Maybe we should just drop it. You know, but uh, it's yeah. I just, I don't know, like, if I do that, um, I feel like uh, it's just going to land somewhere in space and time randomly. Right. But, uh, like, what if it lands in, you know, infernal hell lava world? That's fine. Right. What if it lands in uh, Santa Fe 1946? Uh, yeah, there's a chance. All right, hang on to it. <laughs> Currently, you seem to be standing in a reconstruction of your destination created from, like, the nature of your Nimbus. Your, right. Or your combined Nimbuses. Yeah, that's why I right. color. Oh, right, yes, because yeah. um, I've got the fountain, and you've got the room, I suppose. Uh, there aren't the only difference is that there aren't really any walls. It's just sort of like a cavern floor that goes out and then just like ends when your your render distance. Uh, <laughs> Who ends. turned the fog of war down to minimum? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have about a fifty foot radius around you that is reality by your will incarnate. Right. So, uh, ooh. so it it. Um, Hey, universe. Give me a fucking break. Come on. Fate herself said we're the noblest of heroes. <laughs> Look what we just did. Alright, um... Look what we just did. And now... And now we got boned hard for it. So, whatever other entities are out there watching and having a laugh, throw us a bone. <laughs> your petition uh, to the universe 
is not acknowledged. Tossed out into the cosmos. Yep, there we go. The there void go. around you. Yeah, it's You see there. no sign of any response. Well, for right. all I know, it could it could have been, you know, it could be a thousand years before they hear it. And then we gotta wait. Just You're, I'm pretty sure I mean, it's an, an aspect of where we are. Yeah. Well, I mean... The only time I'm, that exists here is the time that you perceive to exist here. Exactly. So, to us, this this conversation could be could be taking forever or none, none at all. The right. difference well, is irrelevant. Yeah. Yep. yeah. We, we're, we're... I guess we're concern, conversing in a manner that could be perceived as time passing but only because we feel like it only because you choose that method of communication yep all right <clears throat> uh i should also note uh you no longer have a telepathic link to each other mm -hmm. oh interesting uh additionally side note um what raptures the... spells cast on the case are not there anymore it's just your words and signs right okay at least it is still a thick metal case yep with no clasps or openings mm -hmm. so that's good or well because i believe it to be so i guess yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't think about anything else <laughs> yeah <laughs> i start to yeah. think of giant stay puff marshmallow man uh, okay. maybe, don't. maybe don't do that. And then quickly stop. <laughs> like, wait a minute. You feel like maybe there's some like marshmallow like textures to the uh, the paint around certain place. Yep, yep. Kind of, like mushrooms, except marshmallow colored. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, Zool, motherfucker. We um. I guess I got an interesting view of what it is you do on a daily basis here. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it's, yeah. I, I, am I right in understanding that we had a, like a wormhole built to our destination? Yep. But yep. it was cut in half. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she got us. She got, yep. she got us. Right. Man. So, uh, our... Uh, our, ang our our anchor to our destination, uh, our beacon of where we were going to go, was that was because we had cast a spell in reality before that was being released. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now that anchor point is gone. Right, because it was being a spell being released. It's not. Oh. Um. Right. Also, Gray, like, you you try and, like, I assume you try and reach for, for any kind of, like, threads of time to to reach back to. Yeah. Um, there is nothing except for the threads that you create in this area. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's almost like you were removed from time and then your consciousness and, like, your connection to the nature of time allowed you to manifest time like just a different instance of time temporal pocket yeah that's kind of what it might reminds me of yep like hmm, it's like we're in a time pocket but i didn't cast that <laughs> i was thinking about it honestly about a hung spell to, to cast a, a time pocket if shit goes wrong looks like that kind of is what i did instinctually yeah right so uh hmm. uh can i can i can i, I, I find right my soul stone <laughs> yeah i was actually just gonna say that <laughs> um yeah you cannot feel your soul stone oh. but you feel the lack of that piece of you still so it still exists in the real time i bet or in the time that wasn't or whatever well it's in where i want it to be is what i want is what you I can't see. feel it but it is not it has not returned like that portion of your soul has not returned to you mm -hmm. 
It's it's where I want it to be, damn it. Somehow that might help us get back. Right. But if we use that to get back, are we going to end up in the time we started in? Mm. Where we left the soul stone behind the first time? No. Because we Because are... you're a badass and gonna make it not be that way? Because we're already badass and it's already that way. <clears throat> the constant presence, I believe, is what's doing that. Like, if once we leave here, <clears throat> the next wormhole we build will be the same, like, structure. Will, like, everything is still the same. We're just trying to get to the, our present. Right. All the work has been done, I, I think. It's just that bitch threw us out of time. Right. So, well, hmm. I was going to say, it's like, um, of the two of us, I think you, you might be the only one with um, the knowledge of how to transport us. Because mm. uh, moving through time is one. Um, moving through space is another, but that's not... Um, Neither time nor ex space exist here. Right, and even if space were a method of getting out of here, we don't have a space mage. Hmm. Um, you want to be one? Uh, if if we think it will help, let's. I don't know. We'll think of have to think of something here. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> um. Also, I can try and cast a, a spell, like the smallest one, to see if it works. What spell? Uh. Div divination okay so it does work okay there is it works differently than it normally would though okay um you any spell that you cast you have to spend one point of mana regardless of whether it is a ruling spell or not um okay when you reach out to to pull the magic down from the supernal realm you find it's it's not going through the abyss like it normally does. It's going through some other place, some other direction in, you know, like the multiverse almost. Okay. And instead of like seeking to uh, leech into the magic, this place is seeking to drain it out, devour it. Uh, you have to spend that mana to give the spell the strength to come get to you. Okay. Would I know um, that? <clears throat> yes. Could I stop before I do it? Yes. Okay. Like, oh, the bright okay. side is because there is no abyss, there is no paradox. So you can cast stuff at maximum. You can, you can cast as, put as All many reaches as you want into a spell without any consequence. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder then <clears throat> excuse me well for that in that case yeah i could definitely rewrite history maybe maybe if that spell will work here if time magic would work here because yeah. maybe it's a bit meta, but shall we go down the list of time spells <laughs> the the uh how time magic works here mm -hmm. there is no time Right. Yep. Aside from the time that you have created. Right. Yep. By the nature of your perception. Right. So if we try and go back in time, um, we're not going to be able to go further back than when we appeared here. Yeah. Okay. This is this. You just created a new reality, basically. And our, our our birth existence here was the second it happened. Yep. Yep. So not so rewrite history won't work. You can only go back to that point. Yep. Okay. Right. So, um, since we are in our own universe, in in between universes, I guess. It's a good or, way to look at it, yeah. At least removed from what you would con uh, your knowledge of the universe would consider to be the universe. Uh, so my the next question I got is, um, do we? Have any way of finding one? 
Any idea? Uh, another universe? Yes. A real okay, a real one, yeah. Uh what if you cast lodestone on us? <laughs> on universes? Yeah. <laughs> universes to slowly move towards us? Or, or us to them. <laughs> I mean I mean, Alright, I'll fire that away is the best plan we have so far. Yeah, you can cast it with a thousand reaches. Do it. Uh, so, you, you, you guys walk around a little bit and just like just observe this space, I assume, while you're... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, so one one thing just interesting that you, you notice is beyond your, your render distance in the Fog of War, um, <laughs> the, the abstract like swirls of color, uh, they don't move they they only move when you move so like they, it's a stationary tapestry when you look at it but if you like tilt your head or like take a step to the left it swirls uh like with that right and as you sort of like walk around and look out there you get the impression uh there's no like real like sense that is observing this but you just get the impression that there is something out there hmm. just like <clears throat> whatever na form it takes is unknowable to you Oh boy. So merrily, uh, as you continue to stay here for, you know, an arbitrary amount of time, um, you know, the, the time that you ascribe to this domain, yep. being the, the god of, of this 50 foot radius okay. circle. I'm the god of time and you're the god uh, of prime. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you feel like there there's an external pressure, like something is is eating away at your domain continuously right so the forces that be in this place uh yep are eaters of magic and reality yep so right. i built my little fucking sanctuary in a terrible place yeah um so can we that being said it? If you walk, the radius moves with you. Yeah, so let's let's go. Let's move. Oh, that's interesting. That being said, I mean, like, you're going through someplace that doesn't have the concept of time, so you're not actually sure if you're moving or if you're just, like, like giving the impression to yourself that you're moving. But, like, if you walk away, the fountain, like, moves further away from you. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> There's not like stairs over there leading up to the the uh, forestry museum, is there? Um, you kind of like walk over a little ways, and you see on the edge of your perception, uh, as you sort of think that and look over there, uh, stairs are uh, drawn together uh, with this sort of like black metal and and uh right your nimbus i see um right so hmm. all right so it's interesting so like we could i guess uh, imagine ourselves traveling through what we expect our universe to be but is that helpful to us uh uh that's a good question um If we traveled all the way from Santa Fe, would we 
are we finding just what we remember of it? Would there be other persons that appear? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Can you create life in your new reality? Well, no, we don't want to be. We don't <laughs> want to be doing this Green Lantern style. We just make a whole city out of willpower, and then it crumbles.